I mean, look at this. How, how, how incredible is this? This is a mud fossil lung. And the process is wet fossilization. They never understood this. They look in the dry areas for scraps, and that's all they find is dry old scrappy bones, which is the mineral. This is soft tissue preservation, uh, you know, <laughs> manifest. This is a lung. These are the, the, um, the uh, tubes in the lung that supply the little areola, uh, not areola, that's, that's in the skin. They supply the, the, uh, the, the air sacs. And blood comes in as, as um, deoxygenated, and this is what's called FeO2, which is uh, uh, it lost one of the oxygens as it went through the body and fed the body with oxygen. And this is the oxygenated side. <laughs> In the red, it's FeO3. It's fully understood. In the body, it's blue, but when it petrifies, it, it turns black. Look at this. This is what they call a valve. You know, they have valves in these veins and arteries and so forth. Look at this. This is the pleura of the, of the um, coating of the lung. It protects it. And then there's fascia and there's all these things. It's, 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 it's extremely articulated. And I have lungs as well. That We've had DNA tests. It's 100% human. I'll show you one that I have. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but this is, uh, I, I saw this and I was knocked on the floor because I've been doing this research for years now and it's been, I've been fighting for, for acceptance and it's been uh, rejected. So I see this geology, I'm going, wow, this is amazing, exceptional preservation. Somebody sent me this to, to say, you, you should look into this. So I, you know, obviously it caught my eye. So I start reading the whole thing. This is fabulous. And I look down and I see, wow, this is from Yale. And this is Derek Briggs, who is, uh, he's an author on his paper. He's absolutely 100% rejected everything that I've proposed for years now. And even recently, within the last few, well, the last six, seven months, whatever, uh, he's been totally rejected and refuses to examine my evidence. And, and here he is an author on this paper, so I'm, wow. I had already sent Lydia here uh, an email to say that I'd like to, to, to offer, share some stuff, but I'm sure I won't hear back because I never hear back from any of these people. But anyway, um, then I look down here, this is just silly, listen to this. He says, uh, yeah, how the fossils are preserved remains controversial. <laughs> and that's not controversial at all. I have, I've done it in my lab, and I, and I presented that ev evidence to these people, and they, they refused to examine it. So I'm going to show you some emails that we did. Uh, here, hold on a second. Here's right here. Uh, here's ones that I sent to, by this time, um, um, Armand uh, Morgan down there is the um, interface between um, fantasy where these professors live and us. So now, by this time, I'm, and he's a nice guy, he is a nice guy. The rest of them, you know, you, you decide. <laughs> All right, so here, I, here I'm selling, telling him, I did, here's, let me start from the beginning. I found mud fossils, and I, you know, I, I do chemistry, and I, they, were, they were what they were, and they were preserved body parts of creatures. Some of them were literally bleeding. And uh, so, anyway, uh, I just called Yale, and boy, I'm expecting them to be real excited. <laughs> no, nah, you don't have anything in rocks. I said, well, wait a minute, can, can you look at them? No, we don't look at stuff like that because they're rocks. So I said, okay, I tell you what, what would it take you to look at them? Well, it'd have to be DNA testing, CAT scanning, yada, yada, yada. I said, all right, well, no, I'll get back to you. So, now, this is years gone by, and here I am back at Armin. Now, this goes back to 7 26 15. I says, uh, hello, Armin, I did the test. The DNA is confirmed. Life was the origin. And had no question about it. I got three DNA tests. The sequences are damaged, but the lab has more ways to look at the mitochondrial pieces. They found all the pieces. The CAT scan is very clear. These are CAT scans. <laughs> Only primates have nails. The nail bed is clear, and these are the results. These are the, and I'm sending them these videos of what I did. The mud fossil process chemistry is done. I did it in the lab. I'm telling these people at Yale this, and recreated it in my shop. This is hard to ignore. I hope you will have someone look at this. A response is welcome. I have done a lot of work, and this is real. I just want a real look by experts. Those are the experts. I'm sending them this, and they just ignore this. Please don't ignore me, because they, they, they keep ignoring me. 
I believe this deserves some scrutiny. And then I try to be nice, warmest regard. And I like the guy. I like Armand. He's a nice guy. Um, and then I had put up a really nasty, you know, uh, Yale is a fiduciary failure. And they are. And I, I and they said, FYI, I took down the rant video a while ago, and that was kind of, it was a nasty video, but they are, they're, as far as I'm concerned, this is fiduciary failure. If you're charging students to teach them reality and literally, literally imprint their existence on what you tell them is real, then you should try to find out what's real. And if somebody comes to you with something that would be accepted in a court of law, I think that's accepted as semi-reality until it, somehow you figure it isn't real. And I don't think there's any possible way. Well, there is no possible way they, they can do this. So they ignore it. Because guess what? These are human giants, and this goes to something that they cannot possibly accept, which is it's towards religion or, 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 or anti-evolution or creationism, call it whatever you want. I'm a scientist. That stuff doesn't interest me. I have my own beliefs, that, and, and you have yours, and they shall never, ever, ever conflict, because I don't care what you believe, and you don't care what I believe. You shouldn't, but you do. Now, anyway, that's the case. So anyway, this goes on. So now I'm here. This is back in uh, 726. Of course, no response. 1019, or 109 of the same uh, 15. Armin, hello. I know my frustrated prior examination requests were aggressive, but this has been years. Years. I did everything you said would be required before my specimens could ever be considered authentic. You see this? I'm sending this to them. I'm not just talking in the woods. I'm sending this to them. And not only did I send it to him, I sent it to everybody at Yellow I could find. And that place is hard to figure out. It's so, their website is, uh, needs work. I have done all these things and paid this stuff for by myself. I have done all the work I can now do, and the result are as follows. Three positive DNA tests, seven 3D CAT scans, plus expert anatomists, what fossil chemistry has been recreated in the lab. I am not sure what else I can do. I feel in a court of law these mud fossils and DNAs are considered proof and would convict. And I got a feeling that somehow you guys are going to get convicted of something because this is just isn't right. So I do not feel your declaration that they are not of organic origin is correct. Obviously. Now, so I, I, I got to slow down because this is, I'm telling you, I'm frustrated. You would be too. In fact, it is in my mind proven wrong. I respectfully ask you to reconsider my evidence. It certainly deserves scrutiny by those interested in learning. I am 15 minutes away from you.